Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia. It is currently 5 a.m. and today is gonna be a very long Monday. But with that being said, I figured it would be an amazing day to vlog because I am working all three of my jobs. You guys know I am an F45 coach. I actually just got a new somewhat position at F45, a full-time position. And then I also have my own business where I do my own personal training, YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. And then during gymnastics season, I am an ESPN color commentator for the WVU Gymnastics home meets, which there is a home meet tonight at 7 p.m. So today, you guys are gonna see it all. Stay tuned. So as you guys just saw, I just taught the first two classes of the morning at F45, so the 5.30 and 6.30, and then I actually stayed and took the 7.30 cardio class, which I have not gotten to stay for a Monday cardio class in months. I typically have a Monday morning client right after teaching classes, which is fabulous. I love my client, but she is unfortunately, but fortunate for her, she's in Florida this week, so I miss her dearly but I actually got to stay and take the cardio class this morning. It was a fabulous workout. I'm headed home now. I need to quickly film a workout that I did last week, but it was super gloomy and there wasn't enough light in the room for me to film it for Instagram. So I'm gonna go do that and then have my breakfast. Also, my BFF, Alyssa from the 5.30 a.m. got me a cold brew. She, she is an angel. I love you, Alyssa. I know you're watching this because you love me. So I love you. <laughs> Alright, this is terrible planning on my part because my camera is about to die at any second, but clearly I'm outside taking my walk. It is absolutely beautiful. It is 50 degrees, blue skies, sunshine. We have a high of 59 today. It's incredible. Like if I could stay out here walking all day, I literally think I would, but I've got things to do. So after I came home from F45 and filmed that workout, I had my classic breakfast that I am somehow not sick of yet. I know you guys are probably so sick of seeing it, but I honestly look forward to it every single day. And after breakfast, I worked on a bunch of F45 computer work and emails. So I kind of hinted at it earlier, but I did start a new full-time position at F45 as the member director. Basically, I just added more classes to my schedule. And then I also do a lot of the like backend computer work, email business side of things it is super fun because you have to be like very organized on top of things and like scheduled and I'm very type A so I obviously love that so extremely grateful for my new position at 45 and now I'm taking my walk I'm hoping to get in three miles for this walk then I got to get home shower and then train my aunt on FaceTime at noon surprisingly she is my only personal training client for the day which is actually a very good thing for today because after I train her I got to put myself together and then drive to Morgantown for the WVU Gymnastics Meet tonight. There was just a car accident. 
accident outside of my house and they are screaming at each other. Well, the people are still yelling at each other outside. Hopefully you can't hear them. This is like a common occurrence actually. On my street, there's like a stop sign that I guess people don't see, but it's very visible. So there's always fender benders right outside of my house. But just finished up with my aunt, just dried my hair with this. It's like the cheap $40 Revlon like blow dry volumizing brush thing. My mom has an expensive one and hers is like slightly better because it does leave your hair a little bit less frizzy. But honestly, best purchase I have ever made on Amazon. And I've made some pretty good Amazon purchases. But just dried my hair with this. I'm about to go downstairs and make some protein oats for lunch. That's also a somewhat new obsession. Oatmeal with frozen berries. For some reason, it has been hitting the spot lately. I know in my last full day of eating and exercising, I talked about my yogurt bowls. Those are still great. I've been having those for dessert and oatmeal for lunch. Not even like a lunch food, but you guys know I'm obsessed with breakfast foods. So we're having breakfast for lunch. All right, this is a very interesting angle and lighting, but just got some gas. I left my house extremely early because last time I had to get gas before going to Morgantown, it added like 45 minutes onto my trip, no exaggeration. 36 minutes, so I guess a little bit of exaggeration. But 36 minutes to go one mile down the street to the gas station, get gas, and then get on my way. There's just so many traffic lights. And now I'm headed to Morgantown. Tonight's meet is at 7 p.m. on a Monday, very strange. So hopefully I can get out of there by like 9.15 at the earliest. Like there are three teams, so once again, I won't actually be on camera, just my voice will be but I'm hoping to get out of there at a decent hour because I have to make the drive back home and then I open the studio tomorrow morning at 45, so another 4.30 a.m. wake up. But once again, I absolutely love all of my jobs and everything that I do, so I wouldn't trade it for the world. Sometimes my sleep just lacks because of how much I work, but I love it. Like, I seriously, seriously love it. So let's stop chit-chatting and head to Morgantown. Oh, and pretty much every single time I go to Morgantown, I treat myself to some Chipotle for dinner. I pass it on my way there, so I might as well stop and get myself some Chipotle. So let's actually head to Chipotle and then the Coliseum. All right, that was hilarious. So I was just inside Chipotle. I was next up to order and the guy in front of me like went to order and I was like, holy cow, I know that voice. It was the other analyst who like I work with. We were cracking up. Like we stood in line the entire time not knowing I was right behind him and he was right in front of me. That was very funny. But wow, that was a long drive. There was so much traffic leaving Pittsburgh. I'm glad I left super early. Technically, since we're not on air, we don't really have to be there until like five, maybe even later. I like to get there at five since that's when they start to actually warm up each of the events just so I can kind of get a better look at some of like the visiting team's gymnastics. But I did just go to a pit home meet yesterday to watch my friend, Hannah, who competes for UNH. UNH and GW were both competing at Pitt yesterday, so since I live in Pittsburgh, I was like, let me go to that meet, you can watch my friend Hannah, and I can also check out GW, since they're competing today at WVU, which is crazy, having two meets back to back like that. West Virginia did just compete on Friday. They got their season high score, which was incredible, so hopefully they have another amazing night.
Yep, I had a feeling you couldn't see me at all. <laughs> all right, you can see me now, thanks to the red light in front of me. But holy cow, that meat was like not the greatest in terms of like score wise, mainly on like the judges part. Not trying to be super biased or anything, but the judging was very strange on the first three events. And then WV is ranked 11th in the nation on floor and they broke their season record tonight and Kendra got a 10 from one judge. It was so freaking fun. All right guys, I'm gonna end this video off here. I just got back into the city and I'm almost home, but it is 10.30 and I gotta be up for work at 4.20 tomorrow morning. Perfectly fine with waking up early, but I'm not fine with going to bed this late. So as soon as I get home and find a parking spot, hopefully I can find a parking spot soon. But as soon as I get home, I am just showering and jumping in bed. I already laid out all of my clothes for the morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in the life working all three of my jobs. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye. I'm back because I just had to document this. I got the front spot right in front of my house. This never happens. That is the power of positivity and getting home at 10.30 p.m. Also, it is still 50 degrees out. Happy Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog.